is Shield Station. Shield Station on the old Emory Road, they say. We're on the 11 West, headed for Roanoke. Pretty much a straight shot from here all the way to DC. There's a grand old brick house, chimneys at either end. It's really cool, man. More American industry. Gone, gone, gone. Here's a uh, hewn cabin. It's great. It's got a wraparound porch. Really nice. Protects the wood too. We'll be curving around to the east side of those mountains, just following this road. And this is nice country now, man. Easy ride, about 15 miles a day. Another barn done gone. You can see some of these designs on barns here. There's an old house, got a stone chimney. A little bit need a repair at the top, it looks like. It's an absolutely beautiful old house. Two chimneys, not very wide. Three openings on the balcony, a two-story balcony. A big old barn, bigger than it is, in behind. Great old house. Looks abandoned. And then they come along and they build this stuff that won't have near the class. Great old house. That is the first day it's been above freezing in about 10 days. Really nice day. Had a great hamburger in the little Texaco Mini Mart. And we got about five miles left. What's up, dude? You ready to get at it? Yeah, another month or so and you won't be looking at that saddle for a long time. Here's a great old house. Nice barn behind it. The boys club out back. Yeah, you see lots of different things on the road. Been a relaxing day. Actually, after all the cold, bad roads, it's been a bit of a, sort of like a backfire day. You know, you feel tired just from all the stuff before. Sort of dragging along here. Just sort of like feeling like I'm asleep. Hey. <laughs> so uh, the fellow uh, Rick from the Cox Wright food store in Rutledge, he gave me, as soon as he heard that I was riding the horse, he gave me a ride back to uh, uh, Blaine and then uh, he said, you come to the store and you get some food and we won't charge you nothing for it. And it's really nice, a really nice thing to do. 
So we got a few groceries and uh, we got up here a short day and the kids all get something to eat. Kids got themselves some chewing gum. And uh, so the days are getting a little shorter and uh, a little bit more time to rest. What do you got there? Huh? Hedgy. Anila. Gum, huh? Gum drop, Munga. Chewing gum. Yeah. The man give it to you, yeah? Cox Wright Food Center. He said he's third generation grocer from Knoxville. So uh, Rick gave me a ride back to Blaine and uh, if you stop in Rutledge you patronize Cox Wright Food Center. They gave us some groceries, uh, really good to us. Hampton's over there, eating, and we're going to take the day off, the rest of the day. There's Hampton. Getting some water. It's been a great bus. Dollar General Rutledge Hardware Supply. Okay, we, um, it's real nice day. It's warm. So many days, it's been, it's been like 10 days or 9 days that it never got above freezing to where um, you get your first warm day and I mean just the fatigue hits you from, from traveling, you know, under tension, so many days, physical tension, and just suddenly your hands don't hurt. And you just sort of feel all the fatigue in your body. Everything thaws out and you go, oh, my toes are broken off and my fingertips are broken off. You know, you know that part in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End where the guy's on this ship, you know, and it's all frozen and covered with hoar frost. You know, it's like that this morning, right? And the guy's looking at his toe and it breaks off and he looks at it, you know. Well, that's what it's like for the last 10 days. And uh, uh, we came to Rutledge today and Rick at the IGA... Uh, grocery store, Cox Wright grocery store, really nice, gave us some groceries, and this is the kind of grocery store I grew up with that was like, you know, a small community grocery store, had everything you needed, and, and it was a business, you know, but it was really about feeding people, it wasn't about selling food, it was about feeding people, and the manager was there, and he knew everybody, and he knew the families that were having a hard time, and he marked down food and marked down fruit and stuff and, and gave people bargains. And uh, uh, it was about people. And um, I don't find, for instance, I don't find Walmart cheaper at all when it comes to a lot of food items. Here in Cox Wright, you can find a lot better bargains on meat and, and various foods than what you'll find at Walmart. And, and the other thing is, is someone in this store, and, and Rick is a third generation grocer from the Knoxville area, and in this store, uh, people do what they do because they're family and they're friendly and they're good hearted. They don't do it because it was a procedure on a list that some that corporate Walmart from Arkansas told them to do. And America, when it comes to that, America's got it all wrong. Because they, they, they're they thinking that a corporation like McDonald's or Walmart can dictate the kind of community investment that's going to last a long time. And fortunately, Walmart hasn't put these people out of business yet. And I hope they don't. Uh, a lot of times, Walmart will come in and put the small businesses under and then not make enough money and leave. I've had a lot of communities tell me about that. But... Uh, uh, there are no security cameras here either. You know, they know everybody. Everybody pulls in the parking lot and gets their food goes home, you know. And um, anyway, uh, you know, I could go on, but you could... These were the places my mother went when I was a kid. And my kids have gone to them now. And like I say, they don't, they don't... You don't get the corporate smile and that this is policy. There isn't any policy here except to feed people. 
and we experienced that today. And, you know, when asking, can we throw some of our garbage in your dumpster? Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. You know, and, and uh, can we get some water for our bus? Yeah, you can get some water for your bus, no problem, you know. Uh, so, you know, America, if it's going to keep on being America instead of something else, it's going to have to get back to the times when people like Rick, who go home and cook dinner and have kids to raise just like the rest of us, run businesses not for corporate profits on that effing place called Wall Street, Geithner, and all you guys at Goldman Sachs. You effing run the country under the ground in your banking schemes, corporations and stock market stuff. Well, the country's going to have to get back to being people like Rick, who took time off today to drive me back to Bain, to Blaine, and get the bus. And then when I come up here, he said, you get some food in your shopping cart, and we'll take care of it. That's what made America a great place. Not corporate Walmart, not Goldman Sachs, not Wall Street, none of you guys. People like Rick made America a great place, and people are going to have to learn to go back to being like Rick, and remember their values instead of thinking that if they can raise their hand fast enough under the clock they can trade 200,000 shares of stock and make a profit and go home smiling. That's not America. And now it's got America in the dumpster from doing that. So this is a great place in Rutledge, Tennessee. Been one of the greatest states in the Union that we went through, Tennessee, and the people here have been great. And uh, the people of Blaine, great people, people of Rutledge, great people, we just want to thank them.